No. Because <laughs> all this hire says is Cam is gone. Gone. Money talks. 760? Coach, who? What? What the name again? Matt, Where? Matt Rule. I mean, I'm not disrespecting the man or what he's done, but have you done this at this level to Thank get you. this? So money talks to Cam Newton, and Cam Newton, who we heard reportedly was a great asking price for one Cam Newton and his services. If you want them, you don't dangle Cam Newton out there unless you're thinking about trading them. Now you sign a coach who has a seven-year deal. Think about this in terms of calendar. Do you want Cam Newton at 31 in a seven-year deal and then he retires or falls off around four, year four, year five? That's the prove-it time for a coach in a seven-year deal. So he doesn't want to go to free agency or a, or a rookie in the draft around year four, year five. It doesn't add up. So you don't give a coach this type of runway and say start with someone old, an old plane with that much runway. He's going to start fresh and new because he knows he has that time and he's going to draft or he's going to try and groom. I, I I agree with you, but let's be clear. Like, John Harb John Gruden got 10 years and stuck with Derek Carr for these first Yeah, but years. not the same vehicle we're talking about. Derek Carr's younger. Derek Carr doesn't have the same style Injury. of play. Yep. And they have a big move that we'll see if Derek Carr uh, joins Um, him. I don't... I don't... I don't like it. I don't understand it. Um... To be honest with you, it's it, it don't make no sense. He's got seven years, sixty million dollars, and he's done what at the pro level? His 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 college. What what is it? He did eleven and three at, at Baylor last year. I think he's forty seven and forty three over his last seven years as a head coach in college. Mm. He gets a seven year deal. So this is the blackest show around, right? That's what it's supposed to be. Uh, so let's 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 go to this right here, right now. Fearless, okay. fearless, fearless more than fearless, blackest. fearless and blackest show around. I'm gonna give you that, okay? That's what I'm going to right now. So Lord, let's go back to 2003. They implemented something by the great Dan Rooney called the Rooney Rule, right? Mm. That gives minorities a chance to get these positions, okay? Mm. And in 2001, 2002, you had three head coaches at that time, and I believe it was uh, Tony Dungy of, of minorities, uh, Herm Edwards, and Dennis uh, Dennis Green. Fast forward 17 years from now, and we're in the same position with three minority coaches and Mike Tomlin, we got Lynn and Brian right. Flores, okay? What has the Rooney did, the Rooney rule did, but give somebody who is not qualified a seven-year, $60 million deal that has not done anything at this level? If Dan Rooney was alive today, he'd be pissed. Mm -hmm. to see what it has done. So now it's just come down to it. Let's check the box. We got a minority to get an interview. We check the box, and let's move on. I don't understand this. I don't like this. And this dude actually had the nerve from what they say to call the Giants and say, hey, y'all want to match this? The Giants said, you know what? Hey, we go get crazy, but we ain't going to get that crazy. <laughs> so this is not a good move for Cam, and I don't understand the move at all. Mm. I'm biased, and and I totally look at what <coughs> James said, and some of it I respect. I respect the Rooney rule, of course. Um, I'll disagree a little bit on what you were saying, and 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 the reason why I'll say yes, it's a good, it's well, a good let's deal. Let's enter into the record, though. You played with Matt Rule. Yes, I yeah, did you say were, I'm yes. a tad bit biased. I know, but let's yes. Yes. explain that. Play with him. <laughs> that this man was, was he was assistant. a senior linebacker, smartest, uh, smartest football, player. smartest football player I had been around at that time. Respect. Him and Aaron Collins. Yeah, I love that. Um, and had a great, great experience with him and have been friends with him, remained friends very close for a lot of years until present day. So he's like a brother to me. Mm -hmm. um, but this isn't about Matt Rule. The question is, do you think that Matt Rule hire is good for Cam? So we could attack Matt Rule all you want. But the reality here is that Cam Newton has to make this work. This is Cam's last possible opportunity to be considered a legit franchise quarterback. So it has to work. It had better work for him. If we're talking about, and, and here's where I say I disagree, hmm. if you're talking about getting to the prove it moment in year four of, of your coaching, coaching contract and your career, uh, because they gave him such a long deal with such high numbers, I think number one, year one, is the most, the most important year for him. And that year one being him setting the tone for what this franchise is going to look like what the identity is it going to be coming from him? And if Cam can can buy into that and support that, 
it really could make it a, a possible saving grace for his career. I That's what I'm more focused on. I can't buy into anything he says because he hasn't done anything at this level that makes me want to believe Look, that Jimmy what Johnson he's saying was is in true. the same spot. At I one, understand. How many at people, how, how many coaches can you name on one hand? You can't even fill your hand up that came straight from college and went to the pros Here, and were successful. Here's the only problem. Here's the problem with your reasoning. The problem is, is like I said, not year one, you have an opportunity to build the identity of your team as the head coach of that team. This is the pros. So if you come into that room as James Harrison and could be possible future Hall of Famer at that point, all pro, they just gave that man $60 million, Debo. So if you, come in that, if you come into that meeting room, I can recall when Marty came in and Bruce Smith and, and, and uh, Daryl Green and those guys did not like Marty Schottenheimer's coaching style. But you know what Marty did? He pushed through it. He pushed through it. And, and both those guys were not on the team the following year. And, and to me, it, it comes down to a coach has to be able to overcome if a player is a vet that doesn't like it or doesn't think that you're proven. A coach has to overcome if, if there's a franchise quarterback that may be too old or may be too beat up. That coach is being paid $60 million for what? To come in and figure out what they need to do for that team. And I think that's what he's been I called. To I, do. I, 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 listen, James, we're going to get to the Rooney part of this probably tomorrow. We're going to take a beat, think about today, want to talk about whether it's good or bad for Cam Newton. There certainly is a discussion to be had about what's going on with the Rooney Rule. But today, I am I came into the conversation thinking this was bad for Cam, but the more I think about it, I think he got a long-term deal and that kind of money, and it gives him the freedom to really evaluate Cam and do whatever he wants to do. Maybe he wants to come in, he's got his mind made up, let's get rid of Cam. But I don't think there's any risk for him to, hey, let me go a season with Cam Newton, an extremely talented guy at some point in his career, a former MVP, a guy that has carried a franchise before. Let me take this year and try to figure out if there's something there. And if I have to discard well, you him... you think he takes that year to do that? Or yes. does he come in and say, I got seven years, I'm going to make this team Thank mine. You. Without the guys that were here before me, I'm going to make this my team. I'm going to get rid of anybody that is not going to give, give me the credit that I deserve for making this team what it's going to be. What I don't think with that kind of leeway and that kind of backing, I don't think you discard any asset, potential asset. What, that, that's just an ego thing you're talking about. The smart thing to do with the kind of leeway is like, hey, man, Cam Newton was the number one overall pick, and when healthy, we've seen signs of him being a very what we productive player. Yeah. Why not try to see what's there, and that's what I think he'll do, and then he, you can move on from him next year. When you're trying to redefine culture or when you're trying to really look at your roster to restore it, you set someone up for failure when you grab an unproven coach and give them that much runway because it doesn't create urgency. So now you can say there's a new coach and I have to work for him, but that has a limit. What gives you real motivation is a coach who's sitting there saying, I got three, four-year contract. That's where I got one, two years to make this work. When you have a seven-year contract, you can go out there and do what you want to do to the tune of what John Gruden did in his first year. Four and 12, and everyone's like, what is going on? And then this year, they responded. But what we're saying for Cam Newton is he can't just have a mulligan year. This year is the urgent year for Cam Newton in terms of what's going to happen. And good for Cam good. Newton and bad when the coach comes in who's not on that same no, calendar it's good. and schedule. It's good for the coach you understand as well. That? I do understand what you're saying, but I yeah. still think it's good for the coach as well. The sense of urgency is because Cam has not been able to prove what type of player he is today, right now. No, that's not oh, fair. That Cam, is fair. Cam has that's to run fair. right now the, in this moment, not and Coach field. gets to jog. But he's not That's on. the problem. My, look, Coach, you are not as motivated as me to get this done immediately. Because you I see, are going to... I understand what... Because of the contract But term. you still got to look at it from the coach's perspective. He is coming in unproven. He has a sense of urgency to prove himself. Not with a not seven, with a seven years. years. Sure, sure he is. Oh, stop no sure he is. You got that I guarantee sixty it's million 60 dollars. Guarantee. I'm going to figure it's this not out our as I go if I need to. Thank you. That's no, what he's I'll, supposed I'll, to do. Second. Hold for one second, though. You're Honest to goodness, do we really believe coaches 
think that way. Oh, yeah. That, that, that it needs to be my team. I need to do it no, my no, way. With, oh, no, no, no. That, they're like, oh, I got time here. I don't, there's no urgency yes. for me to no. win. It's a, no. yeah. Yeah. There's a sense of urgency. It's a sense of urgency, but I have time. I don't need to do anything drastic because right. I have seven years to build. That actually puts you in a good position to make sound decisions. This, correct. That mm -hmm. when you correct. have time. But not with Matt Rule's not quarterback. gonna come but in he's here. Gotta think, fit. Matt Rule's not coming in here thinking like, hey yeah. man, I've made it. I got 60 million in the tank. It doesn't matter what happens here. I'm not saying it doesn't matter what happens, but the fact of the matter is, I do have seven years. Right. Do you think John, uh, not sorry, sorry, do you think Gruden would have did what he did over there if he didn't have 10 years? Thank you. You haven't seen, you think a, he you haven't got seen a coach. Uh, you haven't seen a coach get prematurely fired. I've seen it happen oh, yeah. a whole bunch of times. But you're still getting that 60. They're, they're still going to get if paid. You, if you, go, to, if you go to the batter's box and they say, oh, unlimited you're not strikes. You're going to try and tear it up. You got unlimited strikes. You can swing it whatever you want to. You can let some go by. You can do whatever you want. So his reputation means nothing to him. I think he's not on par with the average coach and accomplished coaches. No no one is walking around here saying I got seven years already banked up except John Gruden. And that's unfair for a guy who's going to come in and now have to deal with an urgent matter. That's unfair well, to Well, why that can't player. that speak to the value of him as a coach? Oh, I'm not talking about him as a coach. I said they set him up. And if that speaks to the value of him as a coach, then why can't he take I, the time I, I, to build I, the say, team the right way? Well, mm. that's a different conversation because I think right. that D Tepper, the new owner, has overvalued his value. Given... A guy from college, seven years, sixty million. Come on, that's a mistake. Yeah, that. No one else has that. I, I don't, I don't, don't think that's. There's nothing wrong with that. They gave him the you contract. You are blinded by him being your. That's I your am boy. not blinded. Yes, you are. You know, put his horse blinders on and rings are. in his mouth and leave him around. Let but me put him on. Much, Lavar, <laughs> I wouldn't give any coach. <laughs> Thank you. Seven years, sixty okay. million. Okay, no players. So, I wouldn't even do it for Belichick. So there's there's a value there that that ownership group sees. No, it's not. What did he see? His first there's year. David Taper. That they you know what David Taper is? There is he's, he's a very the wealthy richest man. owner yes, in the NFL. That's it. All that means is I got so much money here. I got here so much go. money I here. I want to go through the due diligence. So they're not going. And then the same guy he tried to hire called up. He boo talking to Giants. Hey, 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 dog, hey. You want to you want to match this? If no, I walked in that walking room as a Panther, if I walked in the room as a Panther and I knew you wanted to be in New York before here, I'd have threw my hat in the ring. Y'all need to stop. You wasn't getting that job. You right. Stop that. Yeah, huh? You right about that. Show enough wasn't you. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show, and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Speak for Yourself, or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.